for Bain & Co chocolate, number one is flavour. And we don't really care about anything else. If you scratch the surface and start looking in, there's, there's so much work that can be done to bring back what the industry used to have. Chocolate 100 years ago was a lot less bitter, particularly the last 30 years with the hybridisation of all the cocoa. They focused on yield and disease resistance. They didn't use flavour at all in, their, in, in that process. So now we, we look for those heirloom genetics in generally pretty isolated places like the Pacific, Southeast Asia, Madagascar. By giving the farmer the opportunity to cut out the middleman and get straight into the chocolate factory, the ticket's not being clipped on the way through so he can get full return. On the other side of the coin, we can know what sort of beans we're going to get because we know who the farmer is, we know what he's like, we know how he, how he prunes his trees, how he ferments the beans, how he sun dries the beans. Once a person tastes a product that has that connection with the farmer, I think once they've experienced that, they're actually changed for life. Every step we use in the process, we make sure it preserves the integrity of the bean. And without these machines, we couldn't do it. They are hard to source, hard to service, but on their day when, they're, when the machines are singing and they're doing their thing, they're making the best chocolate. And then we're starting to get all the fruitiness in the chocolate back. So people can approach dark chocolate in a way that they may have not even tasted before. Chocolate that is how it used to be.